Aston Villa boss Steven Gerrard says the club will take a player's vaccination status into consideration when drawing up their list of January transfer targets. The Athletic are reporting that new Spurs manager Antonio Conte doesn't see Deli Alli in his plans and the 25-year-old Spurs career could be coming to an end. A technical error during the Champions League draw saw it needing to be redone later in the day. Club president Jao Laporta had a meeting in Torino with Mino Raola to talk over Erling Haaland's future. The Norwegian striker has emerged as Barcelona's number one priority in the summer. Frankie de Jong's father has said that the top five European clubs have all inquired about his son's services. The Guardian are reporting that Real Madrid are the favourites to sign Chelsea's Antonio Rudiger and have held positive talks with the 28-year-old German about joining on a free in the summer. Manchester United, City and Liverpool will all go head-to-head in the race for Porto's 24-year-old winger Luis Diaz. Edinson Cavani's time at Manchester United could well be coming to an end. Barcelona, Juventus and Corinthians are all interested in taking him on. Brentford are interested in Braga's 22-year-old left-back Francisco Mora. Sean Dyche says Burnley won't be splashing the cash in the January transfer window. And Sergio Ramos has said that he will die on the pitch for PSG against Real Madrid in their Champions League tie. This is What's going on, people? Welcome back to another video. My name is Hugh Izzy, and you're watching Paper Talk. We are back again, bright and early on a Tuesday morning, clearing through the latest breaking news for that ass, and see exactly what's making the headlines in the back pages of these, the most fraudulent publications available to man. We buy them so that you don't have to. Love to your mothers. I hope you're all doing well and looking after each other in these strange and turbulent times. We're all we've got, people. Tell someone that you love that you love them, yeah? You won't regret it. For now, though, we have got five incredible, five fraudulent publications to be going through, including the Daily Star, the Daily Mirror, the never seen this one before, but I picked it up, Racing and Football Outlook, incredible, the Guardian and the Daily Mail. It's daily, like Thompson, it's daily, like Pack the Talk. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Let's start today on the back of the Daily Star, who have a beautiful picture of the baby-faced assassin who was at the centre of the Champions League draw fiasco yesterday. Champions League draw clangor, and it really was an embarrassing moment, which brought their integrity into question. And I guess fair play to them. Hats off for actually doing the draw again, because it did look very dodgy. Uh, Andre, not really at the heart of it, but sort of picking the balls out, the software being blamed, technical fraudulence really was detected. Over here, Manchester United's game against Brentford has been confirmed as postponed. Ten past midnight this morning, Manchester United announced that they had had emergency talks with the Premier League because a rising number of the old cases and players testing positive have gone through the roof. So uh, Carrington's been shut down for 24 hours and plenty of clubs are reporting similar cases or at least rising numbers of positive tests. So uh, Manchester United's game against Brentford postponed, probably going to be played around the new year and their game against Brighton is already being called into question. My sons, always keep your third eye open. I'm trying my best to stay informed by giving you daily updates dates on what's happening in the back pages of the papers, occasionally even the front. However, uh, a famous quote by Mark Twain always rings out when I read the papers. He said, if you don't read them, you are uninformed, but if you do read them, you're misinformed. So it is important to read between the lines and not everything should be taken at face value, you know? Anyway, we move. On to the back of the Daily Mirror who say Lewis claimed the race was rigged uh, this has been manipulated. Hamilton's amazing outburst to his crew on in-car radio as the last lap drama unfolded at Abu Dhabi. And here we have a real flip of the script, really, because where Hamilton has been praised for the composure that he's kept and the grace of which he accepted his defeat, he has now got the finger being pointed blatantly at him with them basically saying what they've been saying in the papers for the last two days. Robbery, thievery corporation, Grand Theft Auto, manipulation. Manipulated. Uh, really unfortunate end, really, to a sensational season. And I'm sure the Netflix series is going to be a sensational watch. Over here, we've got Champions League draw is a balls up. This is them explaining how the Champions League draw had to be redone. The round of 16 fixtures are complete, though. Let me know your favourites for the competition. Some tasty ties in there, including, of course, the big one, PSG against Real Madrid. Over here, we've got... 
hit Manchester United want B's clash to be called off and they've had their wish granted with the emergency meeting last night um, culminating in the game being at least postponed up here we've got Ben's message to England's Ashes army don't panic I'm not sure what's happening with Ben Stokes I think he is injured uh, hopefully he'll be back for the next Ashes test Disappointing performance in the first. On the back of the Guardian, we've got mounting threat. Premier League announces record 42 positive <whistles> cases. And this is really happening very fast now. It's the most number of positive cases that have been recorded since testing began in terms of Premier League players and staff. And as a result, the fear is that the game could crumble and we could return to playing in front of no fans or you know how it was during lockdown. Hopefully that isn't the case, but things do seem to be happening quite quickly and games are being postponed up and down the country as a result of these massive outbreaks happening. Carrington closed down for 24 hours. Manchester United will not be able to train. And Aston Villa, Brighton, Tottenham and Leicester all reporting similar outbreaks. It's very worrying sort of progression that this seems to be taking. Whilst I've got you here, gang, if you could do me the honour of following me on the old Instagram, instagram.com forward slash Wizzy, or if you like, instagram.com forward slash Fraudulencia. Links are in the description box below to all the appropriate social medias from TikTok to Discord to Twitter to, yeah, etc. We're everywhere. Click away to your heart's content and join in the Fraud Gang community. Over here, we've got Lewis Hamilton accusing the FIA of manipulating the final race of the season. And up here, we've got the Champions League chaos as Manchester United escaped the initial draw of people. PSG, which had everyone saying it was fixed. Cristiano against Messi, the WWE style match that they probably wanted, but didn't get. Liverpool get into after errors to the last 16 redraw. On the back of the Daily Mail, we have got shut down fear. I don't want to think about this, but this headline is terrifying. From March to June last year, cast your mind back, it was a sorry state of affairs. Football completely shutting down, and we're trying to avoid that situation happening again. But top flight teams worry that could halt the season and Manchester United's game against Brentford tonight is off after the outbreak at Carrington. Stars face weight for boosters. Emergency protocols are back. They collected some data on October the 19th that suggested that 68% of the players have had their second jab. However, uh, it is being reported that the government are requiring a three-month wait from second to third jabs. So maybe that is causing some of the problem. Although, reportedly, over half the people who've contracted this new variant are double jabbed. So, you know, it's all mad. No one really knows how to control this, I guess. And we are witnessing the beginning stages of potentially football being shut down again. Okay, we've got this football and racing outlook paper we're just having a quick look through. It's sort of previewing the weekend's fixtures that are coming up. It's also I've got a great article on Gallagher who is showing the Blues just what they're missing. He has been sensational, beautiful brace. Uh, in his last game against Everton with the second a sumptuous curler into the top bin. Beautiful, beautiful strike. And he is one of the most informed players in the league right now. Uh, High-flying Reds can plunder another victory on the road. They're backing Liverpool to beat Spurs. Up here we've got Leeds United can add to their home haul. This is previewing Saturday's game against Arsenal. Arsenal who've conceded nine goals in their last three away Premier League games. Not much faith in Arteta's men in this one. That's about it for this time. If you've enjoyed the video, please do smash the hell out of the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn those bell notifications on so you never miss an upload from your fraud father. For now, though, I've been you, Wizzy, and this has been a lot of fun. Peace, guys.